Greetings everybody, this is Dungan here in my survival single player world. Uh, this is roughly around the area of my gardening farm, which is right over there. And this is where the amplified jungle was that I showed in the other video. Um, in my return video, it actually, the video on YouTube froze. So this area was, you didn't, like it was like a minute long freeze of what I was trying to talk about. Uh, that's YouTube's end. It's not in the source video, and my the way I upload videos is actually kind of painful <laughs> right now. I have to travel to get to a place with better upload speeds because my current upload speeds like 0.1 megabytes per second or something. We can't upload videos basically, and uh, so trying to re-upload that video would have not worked. Um, yeah, uh, no, this is the tour video, not the update video, the tour. Uh, and it froze during that part of the tour video. That sound should not have played. Uh, the nether portal sound. Oh well. But, anyways, part of, like, part of that uh, pain upload plus holiday stuff is why I haven't uploaded it in a while. In like two weeks or so. But, recording this right now, hope to get it up as soon as possible because that would be excellent. And uh, yeah, so let's move on to the project for this area. So I have this little bridge built out uh, with light sources along the way, so mobs don't spawn on it. But I want to turn this amplified jungle into a sort of jungle town, a village, just like to um, enhance the biome, I guess, would be the best way to talk about it. It won't be like a farm for anything, it won't be. Um, Efficient in that sense. It's just a, it just be a build. A cat died over there. Did you see that? Oh, poor Rick's a lot. He lived a uh, short life, I guess. Um, ooh, the rain looks uh, makes this looks cool. But like like look very far away. You can see even the silhouettes. I loved it. Looks for this area. I want to kind of make it a uh, like a jungle village of sorts. And I started a little bit over here. Um, we could go over here. The portal was the first thing I changed around. So the portal used to be on top of a tree. Um, this is the tree right here. And I cleaned it up. I made an actual solid ground so I didn't. I'm not spawning in on top of leaves on on a huge height that would like take a lot of damage if I walk off the wrong way after leaving the portal. And I spruced it up a little bit, or jungle logged it up since these are not spruce logs. But I made this little arch over the portal. Um, I made this road with this uh, glass walkway to see below. Uh, I want to like make a lot of this, um, a lot of the pathways and stuff visible for the whole scene, and I don't want to ruin the scene too much when I build. But uh, like looking down here will be uh, cool to uh, see what so all the sorts of land this amplified jungle has. And this is like my workstation. But if we go this way, I actually have this little thing already built up. So inside this little mountain, actually this is perfect. Uh, this this little edge of the mountain where it kind of is an overhang over here and then it curves back in then it comes back out down down to the bottom and then it goes back in on the bottom but it will be like a perfect place for like a grand spiral staircase of some sorts and I think that would be what a great first thing to add to this area would be that sort of spiral staircase and this is like the center of it I've planned already measured out before and I think it would be really cool to have it kind of have like a huge bridge from like this point to like the, the opposite corner over there um, just to like span the whole distance and see how high up we are from just that little thing down there that we were on before because this, this place is very tall it's hard to traverse so having a staircase like that or spiral thing going up um, with the vines down the middle 
probably be a good place to start um, to kind of get this place form ability to kind of flesh out the area more. And I generally prefer building roads over houses anyways, so yeah, I think it'll be a good place to start, so I'm going to work on that. I think Oh my shovel oh I need to get a new shovel too. Um where is this? Right here. Yeah, like starting over here and then going maybe like three out all the way down. It's like three by three down this thing. Spiral and then have the uh, staircase go around it. Um with this in the center to have like it also a vine a way up with the vines too. Um, I think that that would be the best. So I'm gonna just get started on that, fix my shovel first, and I'll cut to that. So so far my design is like this. It's it's a weird looking staircase, but I kind of like how these little look throughs like happen on every like stair. Um, you can kind of see out from where the middle of the staircase is, and I think that you could turn that really well. In addition, I added these like dark prismarine here to kind of give it more green. I really want to use prismarine, dark prismarine and stuff. One, because the gardening farm is right there and it would be pretty fitting. And two, it's it's a green jungle. It will be pretty fitting right there. And the staircase is pretty simple. Uh, you have half slabs going off from the middle. And then you have more, you know, you have two double blocks and then put back the half slabs back. Half slabs like this and then two more doubles um, and this is where the pismarine goes and then you just go straight out like this and then you keep going uh, from here so two full blocks again put this down and then get your half stop there there and here and then you could get the two more blocks and then the little border and it goes up to here. So yeah, this is what the circus looks like it's going down and then going up. I tend to take staircases at like when I take these spiral circuses up and down, I like to look one direction and then just use WASD to kind of point myself in the right direction and then I kind of spiral up there without getting myself dizzy with the mouse. And I think that works fine. I don't like this underside. It will have to be improved somehow. Um, maybe just like these little things. Perhaps. Will be best. I don't know. Um, I also don't like how this staircase removes the center pillar. Um, if I want to get the vines back in place, I would have to kind of remove this part of it. And that would mean... Uh, if I get the vines here, so like this part would be vined up, and maybe I could even like cheat the system <laughs> by kind of like jumping each corner. I think it'll be kind of awkward to run up though. I don't know yet. I don't know how I feel about this quite yet. Um, if I don't have the vines here, I won't have a way to climb up myself. Um, I actually haven't even taken a look at the circus from a distance and I haven't considered its underside yet. For instance, all this sort of stuff. Um, I think this is the simplest way to ow. clean up the underside like this. Yeah, something like this. And get that back there too. And then maybe we could take a look from down here. I'm gonna die if I fall down all that all at once. Ow. Okay, so how does that look from down here, I wonder? Ew. That looks disgusting. Yeah, definitely gonna have to redo this and take another look. Um or think of how to improve this at least. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm, I gave up on the spiral pretty much. I wasn't really feeling it. It was either I, I felt like it was going out too wide or 
coming in too close to the middle. So I gave up on the spiral and kind of built a, a square box around it instead. And I don't know, I think that's this is what I end up with right now. And I think it's a little busy in some ways, but pretty good in others. Um, we could go inside to see the pattern in a second, but. Um, you can kind of see that it made I continued a so, sort of spiral. Uh, you could see the most obvious with the uh, scene lanterns alternating between like here up and then up one there and then up one there. You can imagine it, it, could, it spirals around there. And you, if you look at the glass, the lime glass, and you can see that spirals too. Um, so if you go inside, like the middle column. I kind of made the corners this alternating pattern of jungle wood and jungle fence, and then I added the um, the stained, uh, not the stained, the um, the sea lanterns in the middle. So this is the bare backbones of it. So this alternating pattern of uh, logs, fence, and then uh, I swapped out the fence for the sea lantern and the spiral, and then this pattern. Um, Dark prismarine, uh, black lime, black glass, then another prismarine. That goes all the way up unchanged, um, with the exception of uh, if it's a um, prismarine on this level, it will be prismarine on the opposite side, and the lime will be on the opposite side too. But uh, the lime and prismarine swap on the uh, adjacent sides. So like the lime is over here, prismarine over here, now the lime's over here, the prismarine's over there, and, and so on and so forth. And then if I could sneak around without dying, I basically closed it off with these uh, leaves, the jungle leaves on intervals of sorts, um, just spread around randomly, just kind of contain it in a simple box. Um, the leaves don't go all the way around quite yet because I'm running out and um, yeah, I just wanted to get this uh, showcased. I don't know, I think this pattern is okay. You can kind of see it from this view over here maybe. Um, it offers lighting. It offers high visibility. It's fairly obvious from where it is. Um, from far away, I mean, it's pretty obvious that it's here doing its thing. Um, it contains this a bit better, and it, um, but the downside is that it's not a um, a staircase anymore. Ow! I need to be careful of damage in here because I don't have my regeneration beacons, and that's the only way I like to regenerate health. Uh, but yeah, from far away, it seems pretty good. And the fact that it disappears going up and down and it'll reappear on this bottom part, I think it'll be pretty cool um, once it's finished. Um, I haven't seen it from this far yet, way either. Um, that doesn't look bad at all. I wish that I could have added the regular Pismarine in, like the, the lighter colored Pismarine, but. Oh no, I'm dead. Oh no, we're not. Thank you, fall damage. <laughs> or feather falling. Way over here. I think that looks okay. Um, probably will modify it in the future. It's always up for modification, but I think going with this so far is pretty good. Um, so, yeah. What do we have on this side? What can we work with over here? Because I want to add two of these. Or a few of these, actually. And one over here would be good, too. But do we have that sort of um, weave where it would weave in and out of the landscape is what I'm looking for over here. Ow. Um, it's really dark down there with some friends. Oh dear. Now I can't sprint. Hmm. I have a problem breaking that. Uh, leaves. I want. I want to maintain the landscape, and I feel like so that intercedes with it, but it doesn't break it too much. And it looks 
It looks okay from way down here, too. Yeah, I like that. Um, and over here... Maybe that same pattern could go somewhere like... Uh, these five blocks. Actually, it's perfect. One, two, three, four, and five by my eyes. I see these. this five by five. It could come straight down through that and then go inside until it reaches above. So what I want to do is expand this all the way down and up from the ground floor of the jungle to visibly above the highest point and with, so that I'll need a lot of leaves that I don't have and um, continue working on logs digging all the inner stuff out um, yeah and so I'll go and do that oh, here's a, these are these are rixalots by the way hi Hello. Yes, they have um, um, Rixiat eyebrows, and they're from the Rixiat custom resource pack where he kind of put his eyebrows and stuff on every mob and made them make Rixi sounds. So I only adopted the Rixalots, but oh, I don't want to eat that. But I think it's a uh, nice to eat nonetheless. So. Oh, that doesn't really... Will it be visible? I think so. I want it to be visible on this end. I hope it is. Um, yes, this is the pillar, so... Um, the outside of that will be actually right here. So yeah, that'll be visible. Perfect. So I'm going to go get resources and finish this up. these vines so annoying why are they like this I can't build when they're like this I can't place the block ah. <sighs> and for, for the record don't ever start in the middle when you're building towers like this it is a pain in the half always start on the absolute bottom if you can help it because I'm having trouble moving around this especially with vines going and you can't just like clear them out because it clears them out entirely and ah yeah but anyways I reached the bottom of this and the top all the way up but uh, so it comes out at the bottom at the perfect place I think like nicely tucked inside the wall here with friendly creatures all around wanting to say hi yeah very friendly place right here, um, but in all serious, it actually is kind of cozy. You just need to light it up a little bit, and um, the ground floor of the area is all open. Besides, so just yeah. Um, but also, I found out this. This is really cool. Um, definitely want to do something with this. But if you go inside, there's this little cave system. Um, and straight back here, I found this. Uh, this is cool. This I want to do something with. I love amplified terrain. Getting rooms like this. Oh, look! A waterfall or water pond. That's not an ordinary water pond. It's pretty large, too. Um, what's up here? Let's get this on my bar. I think it'll be handy to... Ah. Ooh, ooh. Oh, I'm breaking one. Lame. I wonder if we have any more rooms like that. Oh, we have a circular room. The infamous circular rooms. We have... This goes back to here, right? Um, yeah. Oh, we have more company. Kind of kind of way. Oh, perfect! It has two entrances. Um, this is right back at the side of the cave. Right up there is the start. Um, and this goes outside. And this would go back inside. And 
can go back to the tower right here. And yeah, I love this. I love the fact that this room exists. So many plans, so many ideas. Um, houses, fishing, could be a fishing shack, it could be any number of things in this little room. Uh, let's see what's on the other end. We have a cave up there too. And does it go down anywhere? No. Does it? What is this? Secret tunnel. It's a secret tunnel. Where does it go? Secret tunnel to a, um, a really weird looking room. Maybe it's that wall. Very interesting. I could do something with that too. <laughs> this is a this would be a cool place to build. I'm kind of excited. I'm not really much of a builder in Minecraft. I um, mostly built farms and stuff like that, not actual like structures. What does this go to? Nothing. Um, so having like a, a creative project, creative build to do in survival, we, it's been pretty fun. Uh, turn on some music, relax to it. Um, this room is ep an epic find, in my opinion. And um, yeah, I've been having problems finding glass for stuff for this tower, but or finding coal for the glass. But with all these caves, I've been finding stuff to do again. Or the lethal. Um, and the unfortunate thing about this is that I can't exactly jump stack this type of pillar. I can jump stack the one with the glass and the prismarine, but that one's more expensive to do too. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I died. It happened. And I had to run all the way back down the track since the mine cart was on the wrong end. And uh, yeah, 45 levels. That would be a pain to get back, but actually not a huge pain, but still 45 levels. It's not not short change, right? Um, I was building this thing, and I died by fall damage. Um, I fell too far. Oh, I only need 39 levels actually. Um, what did I lose? What did I lose? But this is mostly done. Which is why I started we started recording on my way back. And all I need really need are the leaves. Um I died because I thought these vines would save me. They did not. This one did not. It's a traitor. Um so maybe two layers of vines will help. Yeah, because I, I have these little, I decided to make these little stations for each floor on um, this pismarine. And like this floor is the starting floor, of course. Um, I just walked in. Uh, I did lose stuff down on the bottom. Let's go and get that. Um, but all the way up to the top is all done. And all the way down is just spreading leaves randomly like this. Um, I have this edge, uh, this pillar is all vined up and this side is all vined up too so I have a way up and down. I have another floor here so you can double uh, put leaves and double vine it up so I can survive. Um, but I like just going up and down this sort of thing. It's a very treacherous area. Um, if those vines don't work for safety, I'll have to like manipulate water so I could survive falling down this. Um, but yeah, just place leaves like that randomly. And it's already done. Pretty much. Is this the bottom? Yes, I fixed up the bottom too. Um, this opens up. It has little... Um, 
lantern's going outwards, and this goes into the cave. I finally got my bread here. Um, I didn't have much stuff on me besides what I already got. I got all my tools and stuff. So I didn't lose anything, it was just a pain. Um, so yeah, let's finish this up. Uh, for in the future of my channel, I have a like a video of 50% edited for an introduction to Minecraft PvP. Um, it's gonna come out soon, but uh, still, it's a lot of editing. I wanted to make it fancy, and I don't actually like these vines or these leaves here, but. Mm, what was I gonna say about that? Oh yeah, it's it's a little bit old fashioned I think because a lot of the game modes I'm gonna talk about are actually kind of hard to pull off. Like I'm gonna talk about Nail a bit and Nail is like a few versions old and, uh, and all that. So it's gonna be kind of old fashioned in that sense where a lot of what I'm gonna talk about is no longer the case. So it's kind of a weird introduction. Um, like old fashioned introduction, I guess, uh, is the best way to describe it. Uh, but it should be coming out. I'm too far in editing to back out, really. And that's also been another thing that's been taking up some of my holiday free time is uh, editing. That video, I'm working on another one that I'm not sure if I'm going to release or not, but so I'm not going to talk about it. Um, I'll have to redo it, I feel, if I am going to release it, I mean. But yeah, uh, so that's coming in the future, and of course Sky Grid, or Sky Block, or Sky Grid. And more of these, more of these episodes. Let me know how you like this one, because uh, it is very different from, I'm not used to it, so your feedback will be appreciated. Uh, I am actually too high. Okay, that caught me that time. Um, but anyways, yeah, tunnel is tunnel is complete, and time is up for today. So I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you next time, whatever video it may be. Goodbye.